Gastrectomy is defined as the partial or total resection of the stomach done to correct the underlying problem and eliminate the gastric disorder. Indications for gastrectomy include malignant tumors and gastric ulcers that fail to respond to lifestyle changes or medical interventions or are complicated by hemorrhage or perforation. What are some of the signs and symptoms that indicate the need for a gastrectomy? The symptoms include sudden acute epigastric pain, a rigid abdomen, vomiting blood, severe anemia, and shock. A gastroscopy will verify the need for a gastrectomy. Types of gastric surgery include gastric resection, which removes the lower half of the stomach, total gastrectomy, which removes the entire stomach, pyloroplasty, which enlarges the pyloric sphincter of the stomach, thereby decreasing pyloric obstruction and promoting gastric emptying. Vagotomy, which involves cutting the branches of the vagus nerve, thus decreasing vagal stimulation of hydrochloric acid secretion in the stomach. Billroth I, which removes the distal portion of the stomach. And finally, Billroth II, which involves anastomosis of the stomach to the jejunum. Prior to gastric surgery, it's important to talk with the client about what to expect following the surgery. Let her know that when she wakes up in post-anesthesia recovery, a nurse will be right by her side constantly monitoring her vital signs and making sure that she's comfortable and not in any pain. Then, tell her she'll have a nasogastric tube inserted through her nose that goes into her stomach to remove gastric secretions and keep her stomach empty. Let her know that she'll have an IV infusing to provide nourishment and a catheter to drain her bladder. Explain that as she becomes more awake, the nurse will ask her to breathe deeply and to turn frequently to prevent any complications such as pneumonia or the formation of blood clots. Tell her that she will be moved to the surgical floor once her condition is stable. There, the nurses will help her start ambulating as soon as she's able. She should not expect to receive anything by mouth for two or three days. When she's able to start taking fluids, the nurse will remove the IV and the NG tube. Let her know that a nurse will be changing her dressing and assessing her incision and abdomen as needed. Assure her that she will be made as comfortable as possible and everything possible will be done to ensure a speedy recovery. During the postoperative period following gastrectomy, you'll monitor the client for the following. Any adverse changes in vital signs including low blood pressure, rapid pulse, elevated body temperature and increased respiratory rate, severe pain, abdominal distension, profuse diaphoresis, urinary output less than 35 milliliters per hour, measurable hourly if the client is catheterized, excessive bloody drainage from the incision, separation of the wound edges, or a failure to pass flatus or a stool for more than 48 hours post-op. If the client develops any signs of a wound infection, the primary care provider will prescribe antibiotics. What should you tell the client to prepare her for self-care following discharge? Advise them to do the following. Inspect the incision every day for redness, tenderness, or swelling, and report any signs of infection or elevated temperature to the healthcare provider immediately. Dumping syndrome is caused by the rapid entry of a large volume of food into the bowel. Symptoms include dizziness, sweating, and heart palpitations. To prevent dumping syndrome, the client should eat small frequent meals that are high in fat and proteins and low in carbohydrates, salt, and sugar. Advise her to avoid drinking liquids with meals and to lie down right after eating. Typically, vitamin B12 injections, folic acid, and iron supplements are prescribed by the primary care provider. These supplements help prevent the nutritional deficiencies that often follow gastrectomy. Advise the client to take antacids and antibiotics exactly as prescribed by the primary care provider. If she smokes, she should quit. Suggest she avoid drinking alcoholic beverages. And finally, that she learns some relaxation exercises and try to reduce stress.